गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल एम आई ऑडिबल ओके सो वॉट ऑल सीन इन लास्ट क्लास वी हेव स्टडीड दी एंटायर फर्स्ट चैप्टर करेक्ट इज इट स्क्रीन इज विजिबल विथ फुल स्क्रीन वेट एम सो वी विल सी वॉट ऑल स्टडीड इन द लास्ट क्लास जस्ट एम so introduction to the roads in the roads what all we have studied in the roads so that is classification of roads and what are the important important uh, yeah. types of roads and also what are the geometrical cross section of the roads correct geometrical cross section of the roads i have uploaded the assignments have you checked yes sir okay so i have uploaded the assignment there are 15 questions you take one more separate notebook and start writing all the answers after completing answers you have to make a pdf take a photo uh, with uh, time scanner pdf karke wo submit karne ka okay okay so this was we were discussing in the last class this is a road in embankment okay so what is this one upar ka jo kya hai ye this is carriage way what is the function of the carriage way sir screen nahi hai dikh raha slide screen. change hoga sir screen is it not visible now is it visible yes, yes sir yes sir okay so this is what it is carriage way what is the function of the carriage way hmm what is the function of the carriage way yes carry traffic okay it allows traffic it allows movement of the vehicle okay this carriage way is made up of pavement okay this is called as pavement there are two types of pavement one is rigid pavement another one is flexible pavement so this is shoulder at the end of the at the end of the pavement and till the formation level end of the formation level okay this is shoulder okay so what is the function of the shoulder it will act as a emergency way okay it will act as a emergency way if you want to stop the vehicle you can stop here okay during the breakdown of your vehicle you are not supposed to stop your vehicle in the carriage way you have to take that vehicle and the shoulder and you have to stop it if you want to go to uh, overtake the another vehicle then if there is no space in between the carriage way you, you can go through the shoulder express way next side slope so this side slope what it will do it will give the stability to the formation so the berm what is the berm the distance between the ha huh, the start of the formation level till your drain side drain okay this is road boundary line okay next is building line next is control line now what is road roadway width or formation width till one carriage way plus two shoulder is equal to formation width what is the difference between the road in the embankment and road in cutting road in embankment may carriage way shoulder then slope and berm then side drain are there shoulder slope berm and side drain in case of cutting carriage way shoulder shoulder ke baad side drain aate okay then slope and berm idhar aate this is spoil bank okay in the exam he may ask uh, spoil bank bank is visible in uh, road in cutting road in embankment road in both none what is the answer road in cutting road in cutting you can find the spoil uh, spoil bank what is the spoil bank it consists of what soil soil whatever the soil you have removed from the cutting place okay that soil is you have placed here okay so you have seen all the uh, terms okay so what are the different different sides so kya hai berm kya hai spoil bank kya hai you have seen curve so what is the curve the boundaries between the pavement and shoulder so this is pavement this is your shoulder ye dono ke beech mein jo hai na that is called as curve okay or footpath is known as curve okay if it is a footpath instead of shoulder if it is not a shoulder if you consider it is a footpath the barrier between the or the boundaries between the pavement and the footpath is called as is called as curve 
there are different types of curves low curve semi barrier curve and barrier curve and you have seen the formation level so these are some of the things so this much we have seen in the last class is it clear everyone first se chapter se yes sir yes sir yes. okay so <coughs> check from the syllabus whether you we have covered all the things or not is it visible full screen ppt yes sir. yes sir okay yes, sir. so definition of various uh, definition of civil engineering and various subdomains of civil engineering we have seen correct relevance of civil engineering branch which the other branches of engineering we have seen next role of civil engineering we have seen in the various construction activity and development introduction to roads irc classification typical functional cross sections we have seen all the parameters okay so i have uploaded ppt this ppt and also some of the students are asking notes so there is no uh, such uh, as such notes okay isme jo ppt mein hai na wohi word mein convert karke de dena de sakte so okay you download this ppt and you have to write it all these points and write the assignments okay some questions so they uh, describe the role of civil engineering in the human kind i say so first second third question sir if you are getting any difficulty just google it okay take that question just go do the google and you will get information okay so whatever ppt is provided this is more than sufficient for your exam okay 99% you will get this one learn this one only okay i want to discuss some of the my mcq questions will you give the answers are you ready yes, yes. sir yes sir okay i will check okay don't give random answers raise your hands okay in the uh, option there is a raise hand button okay you just raise your hands so that i will call those numbers is it full screen visible full screen yes sir yes sir okay first question the study of something without making the actual contact with the object of the study what is this one so options are gps triangulation leveling remote sensing read the question correctly okay uh, there is study of something without making the actual actual contact with the object so object ke paas utar ja ke physical contact nahi karne ka waise study ko kya bolte hai yes. slight on... change hai sir ha sir question is not available on screen you... okay 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 now is it Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir. everyone. Is it yes, visible with slides too? Okay. Ah, uh, see the study of something without making the actual contact with the object of the study. वो object है तो उसके पास जा के वो physical contact नहीं करने का. वो इसे study को क्या बोलते? Yes, raise your hands. Yes, roll number twenty, Vishwajit. Tell me. Remote sensing. Yes, it is remote sensing. wait a minute yes it is answer is remote sensing okay then i don't know why it is not changing
Okay. Second question. Is it visible? Full screen? No, sir. No, no sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Now? Yes, sir. Visible. Okay. Only question is visible. Options yes. are not visible. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I don't know why it is. Now both are uh, visible, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, what is JS stands for? JS is Geographic Information System, Geological Information System, Global Information System, or none of the, these. What is the answer? Yes, already there is answer. Uh, geographic Information System. Wait. Yes, is it visible now? Yes, the answers they are visible. No, one by one I am showing. Is it visible? Sir, fifth question is visible and also answer is visible. Fifth question? Yes, sir. Yes, now I have stopped sharing. Uh, now it is which question is visible fourth question, fourth question. question. yes okay yes. correct uh, we'll do one by one okay so what is the uh, second question is it visible second question yes, yes. Uh, yes. what is gs stand for option a b c d it is gis is G, uh, global information system correct geographic okay. information okay. system which one is correct? Geographic, Geographic information, information system. Uh, now you can raise your hand. Uh, the scope of civil engineering is planning, designing, estimating. Second one is supervision of construction. C, maintenance of work. D, all. So now what I will do, I will ask anyone, you have to read and you have to tell me the answer. Yes, rule number 13. What is the answer? All of the uh, all of the above. Yes, all of the above is correct answer. Okay. Uh. Okay. So now fourth question: Is it visible? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So camber is provided. Yes. Camber is provided. Yes. Roll number 60. Roll number 60. Read the options and it tell me the answer. Direct. Camber is provided for what purpose? Uh, longitudinal direct. direction, transverse direction, both, none. Longitudinal. Okay. No, it is transverse direction or so longitudinal direction. Okay, camber is provided throughout the road, correct? It is in longitudinal direction, yes, correct. Next, yes, raise your hand. Fifth question. Option may be success. Option, 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 option okay, okay, I'll give options. Wait. Read the question, roll number seven, read the question. The, the soil over which the road structure rests in the foundation soil is known as? Yes, the soil over which the road structure rests in the foundation soil is known as. What is it is known as? Subgrade. Yes, it is Grade. subgrade. Answer is there. It is subgrade. The options are all formation level, subgrade, subbase, base. That is subbase. 
may be problem with the system so it is not changing okay so i will show with small screen only okay now is it visible with small screen window screen yes sir okay so camber ho gaya fifth question just i will read this one okay when you have i have uploaded this ppt in the uh, assignment okay ppt mcq ppt i have uploaded and also i have uploaded the mcq booklet you have to go through all these mcqs as yes. subgrade so fifth one you have seen sixth one what is this camber is provided in the road that is for what purpose camber is provided rain water drainage parking the vehicles to avoid the accident beautification so that is purpose is rain water drainage is it visible now everyone yes, yes sir yes sir uh, next now you can raise your hands or you can read you have to read and you have to tell me the answer already answers are marked here actually i wanted to show it in a was a slide show mode okay but it is not showing okay hmm. see yes raise your hand now anyone read this one yes roll number 5 read this one only one of the following concept capital city of state hmm uh, answer national highway okay so only one of the following connects the capital cities of state okay ek ek state ka ek ek capital city rehta wo state ko capital city to capital city connect karte na so which one state highway major district road national highway minor district road answer is that is national, national highway. highway national highway next one so who will read this one yes anyone raise your hand Slide sir, change 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 no, sir. No, sir. Slide is is not changing. No, 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 sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, there is a problem with PPT slideshow and all. Okay, I'll wind up this one. Okay, PPT we will discuss in the next class. mcqs okay yes sir any ho i have uploaded the entire ppt okay you can check it okay i have uploaded entire ppt you can check it because there is a slide show me kuch problem hai aur i will check it so now we will start the next chapter that is chapter number 2 now is it visible yes sir what is there with the slide show hai kya aur window window shape hai slide show hai window window oh, window shape now yes sir yes sir ha ah, what is there in the slide show unit, unit number unit number 2 yes okay so we will discuss another uh, those mcqs you all of you download that mcqs and uh, go through the entire mcqs okay study kar do i have given entire answers and all so that you will get familiar with the mcqs exam mein kaise questions aa sakti okay aapko samajh mein aayega there are 52 questions i have included entire from first point to last point all the things okay now we will go to the second unit shall we go yes sir yes okay fine so next unit is unit number 2 environmental engineering water resource engineering and infrastructure see again it is consists of what is this environmental engineering it is again sub branch of engineering so in the unit 1 what we have studied we have studied just introduction of all the entire civil engineering okay what is role of civil engineer what are the sub branches of civil engineering uh, what is the other one uh, relevance of civil engineering with other branches of the engineering uh, we have seen next coming to the transportation system we have seen that is introduction to roads we have seen complete next in the second unit we will see environmental engineering 
what is environmental engineering how the water is purified and how the uh, waste which is generated at the house how it is collected and how it is disposed and infrastructure and hydrology we will see see the syllabus what we will study environmental engineering will see isme kya hai environmental engineering mein water treatment system how the water is treatment treated then effluent effluent means the waste which is generated after the using water वाटर यूज करने के बाद जो वेस्ट जनरेट होता है ना आइजर इट में भी किचन वेस्ट आइजर इट में भी टॉयलेट वेस्ट आइजर इट में भी बाथरूम में वेस्ट ओके हाउ टू ट्रीट दैट एफ्लुएंट सो वी विल स्टडी एफ्लुएंट ट्रीटमेंट सिस्टम नेक्स्ट सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इन द हाउस और इन द ऑफिस इन द बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन देर इज सम सॉलिड वेस्ट इज जनरेटेड आइजर इट में बी एनी इंडस्ट्री यू कैन टेक ओके फ्रॉम ईच एंड एवरी इंडस्ट्री देर इज अ सॉलिड वेस्ट हाउ टू मैनेज दैट सॉलिड वेस्ट You, you will study next you will study sustainable development next calculation of carbon emission sources of water hydrology will study dams storage reservoir various modes of transportation so you in the introduction of roads you just you have studied uh, types of roads okay and what is the cross section of the roads you have seen now you will see modes of transportation what are the different modes of transportation road transportation huh? highways or airways airways waterways railways these are the different types of uh, transportation system am i audible yes sir yes sir okay so next one is you will study uh, transportation mein roads railways bridges tunnels ducts harbors everything you will study next introduction to intelligent transport system ITSC it is called as okay you will study this one also next interdisciplinary applications the subject is very large okay when you are coming to the higher level this water treatment plant okay that is environmental engineering one water supply engineering bolte this effluent ko waste water engineering bolte this is one subject actually when you are coming for the higher study solid waste management is one subject okay hydrology is one subject transportation system is one subject hmm? so here they have included all the subject and they have clubbed in environmental engineering means just you are studying what is that particular topic and what is the advantage okay just you will study the introduction then water treatment system so why it is needed so can you tell me why the water is treated so now the water is uh, rotating uh, flowing in a river okay so the river water you are not supposed to drink directly because it is having some of the suspended matter it is having some of the impurities it is having some of the bacteria okay so you are not supposed to drink as it is that is river water or pond water lake water you have to get a treatment okay that is water should be treated and then you have to take why it is needed to kill all the pathogen germs which are harmful to the human health okay when you go to the river when you collect the water in your uh, palm or one pond okay one uh, vessel mein water collect karo whether this water is is it pure pure rahta hai kya water no no sir no it will be having some of the pathogenic germs okay so pathogenic germs those are harmful to the human being so you have to do treatment next the to remove the unpleasant and objectionable taste and odors so sometimes if the water is having bad quality bad quality then the taste is changed and then the odor is changed if there is a if there is a river is flowing if there is a sewer industry so sewer industry say waste generate hote so they will allow that waste into the river then your river water will get contaminated it means river water will get polluted that river water is having bad taste and odor odor means smell okay so you have to remove that unpleasant and unobjectionable taste and odor that's what we have to do the treatment of that water next one is to remove the dissolved gases color of the water what is the color of the color water what is the color of the water water is colorless yes, water is colorless if the water is having some color okay it indicates that the water is polluted if the water is having some color it indicates that the water is polluted 
and if it is having some dissolved gases you have to remove dissolved gases and you have to remove color of the water then to make the water fit for domestic industrial and commercial use yes in order to make the water usable for the domestic purpose for the domestic purpose matlab what we are using in our house day to day life okay that is domestic purpose industries and commercial uses in order to make the water fit for those uh, categories we have to do the treatment next to remove microorganisms and colloidal materials okay see whenever you take the water there will be some microorganisms correct you have to remove those microorganisms and there will be some colloidal particles okay so if you take the wa water in a clean beaker steel beaker uh, glass beaker you observe it okay there will be some particles okay suspended colloidal particles you have to remove all those particles is so in order to do all these things we have to do water treatment plant okay is it clear everyone yes so water yes, treatment sir. karne ka okay so these all are the uh, important factors we have to remove in order to take the water see so environmental engineering in the first chapter we have studied this what is environmental engineering it deals with the water supply and the disposal of the waste water it plays an important role and pollution control so what are the branches of the uh, environmental engineering branches of environmental engineering first one is water supply engineering hmm. second one is waste water engineering correct third one is air pollution okay you will stay you, you have seen this one in water supply engineering what you will do it deals with collection of water collection karke storage of water storage hone ke baad treatment of water okay treatment ke baad you have to supply supply and that is supply to the community that is to the human being society and that is drinking and industrial use also deals with the construction and maintenance of the treatment plants okay this entire thing collection of water storage treatment supply and distribution system this entire is called as water supply engineering you have studied this one second one is sanitary engineering so sanitary engineering is also called as waste water industry okay waste water engineering sanitary engineering is also called as waste water engineering it deals about waste water is sanitary engineering deals about waste water because sanitary engineering means what it is waste water engineering so it deals with waste water this waste water where it is generated it is generated from the industries and from the domestic okay so from the industries can you give an example for the industry industry ke example dijiye sugar factory yes sugar factory so that will uh, release some, some kind of waste no so that is waste okay, we have to treat that one so that treatment of the waste water which is generated from the industry and domestic is called as waste water engineering so see collection of the waste waste water and treatment and disposal okay so this entire is called as waste water engineering next next one is it also deals it also deals with the construction maintenance of the treatment plant construction maintenance of the treatment plant so environmental pollution so third one is pollution first one is what just tell me all of you first one is what water supply engineering yeah. second one is sanitary वॉटर पोल्यूशन Air pollution, noise pollution, land pollution. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So you have seen this object and all. So this is how the water is treated. Okay, water water treatment plant. Next, solid waste management. So what this solid waste management will do? Okay. So this is 
collection of solid waste from different methods of collection okay there are different different methods to collect the solid waste first step is collection of the solid waste next is classification see whenever you collect the solid waste whether the all the solid waste are same same organic rahte kya or there will be organic inorganic aise bhi rahte Mix. all the solid solid waste whatever you are collecting is it of same kind or different different kind different different, 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 different kinds kind. okay first what you have to do you have to collect okay all the solid waste next you have to bifurcate okay that is called as classification as per the properties there are some properties as per that one you have to classify third one is if that waste is reusable okay you have to reuse and recycle and finally you have to do the disposal this entire will come in in solid waste management collection classification reuse and recycle and disposal these five steps are important in solid waste management next application of environmental engineering where it is applied up, applied so in the design of water supply engineering okay this entire uh, environmental engineering is applied in water supply engineering and it means in order to treat the water next waste water treatment plant next construction of the maintenance of the water supply and water supply lines construction and maintenance means they see if there is one new city in your place if there is no water treatment plant you have to i will call it is wtp wtp means water treatment plant and one more is stp stp means sewage treatment plant sewage is called as waste water okay 